Hi, I'm Anthony Chapman and I'm a tutor here at Point Break Music School. I've got over 20 years industry experience as a producer, engineer, mixer and composer, working with the likes of Franz Ferdinand and Claxons. And you're watching Nine Lives of Ableton. If you're new to making electronic music, these videos should give you an overview of how to get started using Live and an idea of what it's capable of. If you're experienced with other platforms but new to Live, you'll probably find these videos really useful as well. In the last video, we saw how Live can manipulate the timing of audio material using warp markers and how we can automatically slice audio into MIDI tracks for further manipulation. Now, Live 9 introduced some even more advanced ways to transform audio to MIDI, so let's take a look at them. Now, I've got these three clips in my user library here. These are audio clips, and I'm going to bring these into my session and I'm going to transform the audio into MIDI and hopefully this will demonstrate how easy it is to get really creative using this technique. So I'm gonna take this drum loop first, okay? And I'm going to drag this into a new track, okay? Now let's just have a listen to what that is. So as you can hear, it's like a live, a live drum loop. So I quite like the pattern that that's playing, but I don't wanna use those sounds, so the easiest way to experiment with this is to transform this into MIDI notes and then I can use any drum samples that I've got to play that same pattern. So to do this, it's as simple as a right click, come down to here, convert drums to new MIDI track. And so now it's made this new track here. And if we take a look at that track, we can see it's got a drum rack on it already, which has got a, a 606 drum machine on it, which is just the default. And then if I play that clip, okay, so you can hear that's the pattern from the drum loop. And I'm gonna play the drum loop alongside it. So you can hear. It's made an extremely good job of uh, converting that loop to audio. Now, if I really wanted to be pernickety about it, I can go in and let's take a look at the MIDI. Now, it's actually picked up an extra hi-hat here and here. And I think there's one here as well. Now, they're, they're actually fine, they run in time, it's got quite a nice sort of groove to it, but if I wanted to be very particular and say no, I want this to be exactly the same as the loop that I've used, I could just go in and take them out. Okay, so I've got the pattern playing there, so now that that's uh, playing, let's try some other sounds maybe. So let's have a look in the drum section of the library, and I've got this kit selected here and I'm going to drop that onto my MIDI track to replace the 606, and let's have a listen. So it's kind of a crazy electro sound. Let's hear it with the original loop as well. They work really nicely together, so as you can see, it's not necessarily about completely replacing your audio with MIDI. Sometimes it can be about bringing MIDI in to add to the audio that you've already got. Great. So let's take a look back in my user library. I've got this arpeggio, which I really like. Uh, let's preview that. Great. So I like that, but I want to use Live 9's audio to MIDI features to extract the notes from that so that I can take it further and I can change the notes because obviously this is an audio loop at the moment. So in terms of changing the notes and the melody, I'm a little bit limited. So I'm gonna add a new audio track, drop the ARP into there, I'll put it on a new row. Let's have a listen. Okay, I right click on it, go to convert melody to new MIDI track. Okay, so now let's have a listen to the new MIDI track. So there it is. Live's done a very good job of uh, picking out those notes. 
Now, at the moment, it's using a default sound. But remember, now this is MIDI, I can make that any sound that I want. So let's take a look in the library. I'm going to go into Instruments, and let's have a look in the Instrument Rack section. And let's go uh, Synth Lead, drop this down, and let's just, I don't know, let's just try one. We'll drop that one in. Tensor's Lead. And let's have a listen. Here it comes. Okay, let's try try another one. That one's got a uh, uh, an overtone in it, which is really nice. Let's hear it with the drums. So you can see in a matter of clicks, I've created a bunch of new content which I can use maybe to create a completely different section in my song. Now finally with audio to MIDI, there's something else that Live can do, which is it can extract chords and harmonies from audio. So I'm going to go back to my user library here, and I've got this synth chords clip. So again, I'm going to create a new audio track. And I'll drop this in on its own row. And let's have a listen. Okay, so I'm going to right click, convert harmony to new MIDI track. So let's see what we've got. Yeah, pretty good. So the only thing that's missing there is uh, this upper note on the first note there, and it's easy enough to put that in. So now I've got those notes from that harmony out, I can quantize them, yeah? And I can also, let's say, maybe I wanted to add a lower octave. So let's have a listen to that with the drums. So as you can see, just in a matter of a few clicks, I've taken three audio clips and I've created MIDI data from the three of them and I'm free now to edit them in any way that I want. So I hope this has given you a good insight into Live 9's audio to MIDI features. In the next video I'm going to start recording my session into arrangement view ready for mix down and mastering. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response, and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it, and then pushes record on the screen capturing software, and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.